Well, to talk about uh, the visa cancellation of Novak Djokovic, I am joined at this hour by Vishal, Vishal Upal, the captain of Indian Billy Jinking Cup team and former Indian Davis Cup player. I am also joined by Rituraj Borkakoti, who is the deputy sports editor of Khalij Times. And uh, I am also joined on the show by Ashutosh Srivastav, who is a Supreme Court lawyer. Welcome on the show. Let me first start uh, with uh, Vishal. Uh, Vishal uh, Novak Djokovic, uh, in fact, has now been put on detention and Rafael Nadal coming out and saying if he wanted to play Australian Open, he would have made other decisions. That's a big statement. Yes, and I have to agree with uh, Rafael Nadal. I think, uh, you know, you are free to take your own decision, but there are always consequences to your decision. And uh, the, the only part in this whole story, which is still unclear is why would tennis australia or you know the uh, the australian government or victorian government allow some people to get a medical exemption and not give the same uh, extend the same courtesy to many more players we know here in india uh, one of our young junior players was denied uh, you know uh, visa to the australian open because he's not vaccinated even though it was made very clear that india still had an open vaccination for uh, kids below the age of 18 years of age. So, you know, I think I think sports is all about fairness. It's about, uh, you know, equality and rules are the same for everyone. And I think there should be no exceptions to that. Um, so, in my opinion, I have to agree with Rafael Nadal. Uh, Djokovic knew what the consequences could be. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's fair for him uh, to risk other people uh, getting infected because he's unvaccinated and, you know, maybe he could be a carrier uh, during this uh, tournament. Vishal, uh, let me ask you another question here. You said that sports should be fair and the Australian Open authorities have been saying that uh, these applications for exemption have gone to doctors who did not know uh, from whom these applications have been coming from. So they were evaluating nameless people. In all of this, how how fair do you think is this evaluation process and the fact that they're claiming they did not know that they were giving this exemption to Novak Djokovic? Do, do you really believe that, Drika? Now I'm asking you, do you believe <laughs> they it? They would not know. <laughs> I don't believe it. I mean, come on. He's. I mean, but in, in all fairness to Djokovic, I think that if he's not allowed entry into Australia because of a medical exemption, then the medical exemption given to the other players uh, or whoever supports staff should also be revoked. You know, you can't then single out Djokovic uh, just by himself, just because he's Novak Djokovic. I don't agree with his decision of uh, not vaccinating himself. Come on, this world has seen enough pain and enough suffering. And you being a role model, you've got to step it up and say, hey, you know, let me do something for the greater good of uh, of the world. If 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 my fans can look at me and say, hey, yeah, let's get vaccinated and maybe that would end this pandemic. I mean, I think that would be a far bigger service to humanity than winning, uh, what, the 21st Grand Slam. So I think, I mean, you know, uh, I, I think to be fair to Djokovic, even the others uh, who have been granted this medical exemption and, and uh, quite honestly, they've not made it clear on what basis, who, mm -hmm. what, why. If you're going to hide things, people are going to ask more and more questions. Better to be out in the open and say, hey, this is what it is and, and let's get on with it. Uh, Rituraj, let me come to you. Uh, Novak Djokovic, a huge role model. Uh, does his popularity ratings take a beating here because of what he's done? Well, uh, if you go back to 2020, uh, Rika, I mean, he very publicly uh, said that he is not in favor of vaccines, even after the outbreak, COVID outbreak. And uh, I mean, he has always divided opinion. Uh, he is, uh, unlike Roger Federer and uh, Rafael Nadal, his two great competitors, who have always had the public in, in, in their side, wherever they play. I mean, Djokovic always seems to have uh, st have struggled in terms of getting getting the support from, from the public, even though his achievements in the last 10 years, I mean, since 2011, he has won uh, 19 of his 20 Grand Slams in the last, uh, last 10 years. So that shows how much of a dominance he has had uh, in the last 10 years. I mean, that's much more than 
Djokovic and Nadal and despite that he has always struggled to get the love from the public and this will i think will go down as one of the reasons that will probably he will struggle again to get the same kind of sympathy or love that he so craves and he has publicly uh, opened up about it as well Ashutosh uh, well uh, the hearing will go on and what we understand is that the final hearing is on Monday how long do these t- cases typically take uh, to be decided because we know that tournament is starting on the 17th of the month yes uh, i think it has to be decided before 17th uh, considering the situation here uh, i feel that we have to just see what are the australian you know australian rules and regulations for this purpose now there are two aspects of it one is that uh, you know if anybody is having any na- foreign national having uh, you know any kind of special purpose visa or any eligible visa and uh, you know that person can apply for uh, voluntary exemption you know mm-hmm. to the australian uh, a uh, border force to the commissioner and it has to be granted mm-hmm. so now that is one aspect whether it was gra- it, it was granted to him or not the second aspect is that as per the australian rules uh, you know that if the government has invited uh, any foreign national on its land you know uh, who could have some special skills uh, which could be of some national interest to the australian government uh, you know such exemptions are already provided by the australian government now uh, considering uh, this kind of a case uh, you know uh, that is a kind of interpretation whether uh, he uh, you know this player has got uh, you know special skills which should be considered uh, you know as per law so i think the australian courts will be at liberty to decide because these are all established principles of law uh, which the australian government itself has made you know for the foreign nationals and there are other exemptions also uh, obviously that will not apply uh, in this case but i think uh, being a player and who has been invited by the australian government to play in the country you know uh, that could be considered as an exemption by the australian court so now we have to see you know Ashutosh, how these uh, Ashutosh, rules I'll have, have to ask you do you see are, this do you see this as a fight between australian open and uh, the state of victoria because the state of victoria said they are not going to uh, back uh, him coming into uh, the state and hence the border police didn't allow him to come in the australian open gave him an exemption permission so do you see that you know these two authorities are not aligned uh yes it can be seen very well uh, the government says australian government says that everybody has to be treated equally as per law but the question is whether the laws which they themselves have made is you know whether he is eligible for that kind of an exemption mm-hmm. which is already mentioned in the law so obviously uh, there are certain kind of uh, you know uh, i mean uh, differences between mm-hmm. the two uh, you know uh, authorities so obviously i think the court will have to this is the matter is already before court and i am sure that the court will have to decide it before 17th otherwise the petition filed by uh, the player will become infructuous and mm-hmm. it will will have no impact uh, you know because the time is the essence of this uh, you know uh, suit which has been filed uh before court vishal so we'll uh, have to see vishal what we understand is that right now he is lodged in an isolation prison and that denies him uh, of several privileges and perhaps even if he is taking medication or several other things he will not be able to access all of that in case uh, there is a decision that goes in favor of novak djokovic though you know there are uh, th- there are obvious questions on that do you see going into the tournament without any practice uh, a few days from now well let's put it this way if uh, on monday morning novak djokovic doesn't get uh, the decision in his favor he might as well go back home because he's not going to be able to compete at that higher level without training without practicing and and he's just not going to be sharp enough uh, you know to make a serious challenge uh, for the title so I, so i think uh, uh, you know uh, monday is d uh, day for him in terms of uh, this year's participation at the uh, Uh, at the Australian Open but also what uh, you know is quite interesting Rika is that uh, whatever the decision may be at the French Open uh, sorry at the Australian Open right now the French president uh, Macron has made a statement that he'd like to piss off people who are not getting vaccinated so then does that mean that Djokovic is 
French Open participation a few months down the road also comes under the scanner. Uh, you know, so I think uh, it's going to be quite an interesting call uh, that will be made on Monday because clearly there is a lot of anger amongst Australian population who cannot uh, meet their loved ones uh, or their dying relatives right. even though they're vaccinated and then you allow a person to come into your country who's unvaccinated just to play a tennis tournament i think there are slightly bigger things in life than you know a tennis tournament you know humanity is fighting a battle right now and you can either be a part of that battle and help uh, humanity overcome it or you can be a part of the problem i think in this case uh, djokovic might be a part of the problem uh, rituraj let me ask you why is there a halabalu over this right now and why not why didn't this happen before because djokovic uh, since last year had played several tournaments he was also a part of the tokyo olympic games but no one really pointed out that this man was roaming the world without being vaccinated so it's obvious that the rules are very different in australia and uh, that actually put him in a tight spot because this has been going on for the past three months that whether Djokovic, because of the rules in Australia, can go back and uh, defend his title uh, this year. So then about maybe a couple of weeks at first, a couple of weeks back, it first emerged that they have formed an independent committee, which <laughs> is likely to give him a medical exemption. And after that, uh, he put up the Twitter, uh, put up, put up the, two, uh, the post on the Twitter, and that he has been granted the medical exemption. So, I mean, that is a little bit confusing. I mean, now that we are asking questions of on, on to Djokovic, I think a lot of questions will be asked about the, uh, on the on the organizers as well and the Australian government as well. Right. The way they have gone about this thing. Mm -hmm. um, Vishal, let me ask you one last question. And, and, Some of think, Djokovic's fans yeah. have been debating online whether it will be vaccine versus 21st slam. Uh, because as you mentioned that uh, uh, Macron had said uh, no uh, entry to France without vaccination. Perhaps Wimbledon and US Open will also make similar rules. So then do we see him get the 21st or not? <laughs> I guess. I guess time will tell us, but you know, I mean, Rika, in all honesty, I think the world is really going through a much tougher time right now. And there are some serious decisions that have to be made. You cannot have rules where you are banning entry of everyone else into your countries mm -hmm. uh, if you're not vaccinated and then you make an exception for one or two people. That's right. just not fair, uh, you know, and even to the Australian public, because he will come in contact with a lot of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, tournament staff, a lot of people and and is it fair to risk them and their health and their lives, uh, you know, for a 21st Grand Slam? I think, uh, I think not. So I think, uh, uh, you know, Novak Djokovic really has to do some introspection. Uh, this may be for the greater good of, uh, you know, the world right now. And uh, and I think he and his team really need to sit down and think this through. Because if if the French government becomes tough about it, if then, you know, the UK government gets tough about it, then... His quest for the 21st Grand Slam is seriously going to get dented uh, because, uh, you know, I think the world is fed up of this mm -hmm. uh, of this COVID crisis and we really want to get beyond it now. So I think everyone has to partner in this and everyone has to help, you know, remove uh, or get past uh, mm -hmm. the COVID time. Interesting thoughts there. Perhaps uh, uh, Novak Djokovic's 20th sla 21st slam won't come till the time he decides to get vaccinated. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me on the broadcast. With that, a quick break on the show. More news on the other side. Stay tuned.